right, so robo taxis. They're not sci fi anymore, are they? Not with Elon Musk having anything to say about it. It's like he's trying to drag the future into the present, you know? And how? This whole robo taxi thing. It's got everyone talking, especially you, actually. Remember those articles you sent us? We're diving deep into those today. Let's do it. Buckle up. Right. So, Tesla calls this big reveal, we robot. Already sounds like a blockbuster, doesn't it? And they held it at the Warner Bros. studio lot, no less. Subtly setting the stage, wouldn't you say? Controlled environment, all that. Yeah, it makes you wonder if they're hinting that their tech isn't ready for actual city streets just yet. Precisely. Real world driving. That's a whole other movie. Speaking of movies, Musk's entrance. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about a showman. Oh, absolutely. Rolls up on stage in the cyber cab, their robo taxi star. Classic Musk. Straight out of a tech thriller. So, this cyber cab, the articles you sent, they describe it as sleek, two door, no steering wheel, no pedals. Like something out of Minority Report. Definitely aiming for that futuristic feel. Even got those butterfly doors that open upwards. Right. Practical for a robo taxi or just for show? Who knows? But one thing's for sure that. Under $30,000 price tag. Ambitious, to say the least, even for Tesla. Seriously. Their other cars, not exactly known for being budget friendly, this feels different, almost risky. Oh, absolutely. This price point, it hinges on their software, on automation, to make a profit. Which makes you wonder, will people trust a cheaper robo-taxi? One where maybe they cut corners to get the price down? It's the million-dollar question, right? And get this, the CyberCab's not even the only robo-vehicle they announced. Don't forget the robo-van. Right, up to 20 passengers. Exactly. This isn't just about replacing your car, it's about revolutionizing public transit. Imagine the impact. No kidding. Will these things clog up cities even more? Will they even be affordable or just another luxury? So many questions, and that's just the first act of this whole robo-taxi drama. Stay tuned, folks. This deep dive is just getting started. And knowing Musk, he's already got a timeline for all this. Right. Cybercab production by 2027, he says. But that's not all. He also claims we'll see those self-driving Model 3s and Ys, the ones without any human controls. He's saying those will be on the roads in Texas and California next year. Next year. Wow. Talk about a hard left turn. I mean, even if the tech is ready, are the feds on board with this? Imagine the regulations for cars with no steering wheels. No way for a human to take over. It's a whole different ballgame. And honestly, you got to wonder if Musk's just, well, being Musk, right? You think he's jumping the gun a bit? Remember the Cybertruck? Years of delays. And that whole coast-to-coast -coast autonomous drive he promised back in, what, 2016? Oh, yeah. Still waiting on that one. Yeah. Point is, Musk's timelines are optimistic, let's say. Okay, so maybe take those dates with a grain of salt. Yeah. But even so, the regulations alone, it's a minefield. No kidding. And it's not just about setting rules for cars that drive themselves. It's about public trust. Will people actually get in a robo taxi? That's the real hurdle. And speaking of trust, I noticed something interesting in those articles you sent. They're pretty vague on the actual tech behind all this, especially the safety features. You're right. I didn't see much about how they're going to make these robo-taxis actually safe. Exactly. And that's where things get a little, shall we say, controversial. Mm -hmm. Because Tesla, they're going all in on cameras. Cameras, as in, that's it. No radar, no LiDAR like other companies are using. Nope, just cameras. Musk's betting the farm that their vision-based system, their AI, can handle it all. Huh. Bold move. Hmm. But is it a safe move? I mean, can c cameras really provide enough information for a car to think and react like a human driver? That's the billion dollar question, isn't it? And it gets even more complex when you realize Tesla isn't talking about just, you know, assisting a driver. They're aiming for level five autonomy. Level five, meaning? No human intervention needed ever. Yeah. The car does everything. Okay, now that is a whole other level. So we've got the tech, which is a big unknown. We've got Musk's ambitious promises, which who knows. And on top of all that, we've got this huge question of what happens if robo-taxes actually do become a reality. Exactly. And that's where things get really interesting. It's a lot to wrap your head around, right? Robo-taxes everywhere, maybe. But what does that actually look like for, well, us, for everyday yeah. people? That's the question, isn't it? It's easy to get caught up in the tech, the timelines, but the real impact is human. Exactly. So let's say, just for fun, it's 2027, like Musk predicts. Okay, 2027. You're heading out, need a ride, you open up your phone, but instead of calling an Uber or Lyft... You're hailing a Tesla. A robo-taxi. Right, no more worrying about surge pricing, maybe, or hoping your driver isn't lost. Musk's vision, it's about convenience, right? Mm -hmm. On-demand transportation, but cheaper, smoother. 
because it's all automated. It sounds pretty utopian when you put it that way. <laughs> but, and you know, there's always a but. How does this whole thing even work business wise? Will we all be paying Tesla monthly for robo taxi rides? Good question. Subscription model, paper ride. And who maintains these robo taxis? Cleans them. What happens if something goes wrong? Like a fender bender, even. Who's liable? Exactly. And we haven't even touched on the cities themselves. Imagine the traffic flow issues, the infrastructure changes. Will cities even want thousands of robo taxis on their streets? It's a huge unknown. And then there's the job market. What happens to taxi drivers, rideshare drivers, if everyone's hailing robo taxis? That's a whole other can of worms, right? The ethical side of automating jobs out of existence. Exactly. And think about the decisions these robo taxis will have to make. What if there's an accident? Unavoidable. A human driver, they'd react instinctively, but a robo-taxi. It's programmed to make a choice, a calculated one, whose safety gets prioritized. Man, so I, every answer just leads to more questions, doesn't it? That's the thing about the future, isn't it? It's full of possibilities, but also uncertainties. And with a topic as big as this, as potentially world-changing. We need to be asking those tough questions now, not just about what the technology can do, but what it should do. Exactly. So to all our listeners out there thinking about hailing that robo-taxi in a few years, we've given you a lot to digest today. But more importantly, we hope we've given you a lot to think about. Because at the end of the day, the future of transportation, it's not just up to Tesla or Elon Musk or any one company. It's up to all of us. What kind of world do we want to create? Could have said it better myself. <laughs> And on that note, we'll wrap up this deep dive. Big thanks to you, our listeners, for sending in those articles and sparking this fascinating conversation. Until next time, keep those wheels turning.